dying. Um, they're covered in the Protection of Life Act 2013 in sections 7 and 8. 7 covers the substantial risk to maternal life and 8 covers emergencies. So in the context of an emergency like a haemorrhage, a doctor on their own can make a decision um, and interrupt the pregnancy in order to save a woman's life. She doesn't need a second opinion. Um, he or she could go straight ahead. In relation to substantial risk to life, um, it requires two doctors to come to that opinion. One must be an obstetrician, one can be another relevant practitioner, and preferably a general practitioner would be involved as well um, in the decision making. But it comes down again to the um, determination of what is a substantial risk to life. So we will have patients presenting who may have um, disease like advanced as I said, cystic fibrosis, portal hypertension. They may not have planned to get pregnant, but now they are pregnant. And the question arises, we're not quite sure what the clinical course will be. And we know there are you know, risks, but are they, is there really a risk of her dying or will she just become ill? And how do we factor that in? And what is our opinion? Really what is required in these situations is the ability for the doctors and the patients to look at not just the risk of dying, but also the risk to serious impact on a woman's health so that they can make a sensible, timely um, decision. Um, but I do believe that the definition of substantial risk to life um, can provide problems for doctors who are worried that if they make a wrong clinical decision, there is a custodial sentence of 14 years hanging over both them um, and their patient. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy.